She is a trailblazer for women, for African Americans, and for journalists, not only here in Washington, but across the nation. Our friend Maureen Bunyan, a founder of the National Association of Black Journalists, will be honored tomorrow night by her induction into the organization's Hall of Fame. No one is more deserving of this honor. Leon Harris has more on Maureen's storied career. Please. This is Maureen in her element, gathering news for ABC7 viewers. A 44-year veteran of television news, she's one of the most respected and admired broadcasting journalists in the country. I still remember the, the young woman, small woman, working with Max Robinson. ABC7 reporter Sam Ford has been a friend and colleague since the mid-70s. He and Maureen were among the founders of the National Association of Black Journalists. And she's a presence here that, uh, you know, I think a lot of people look up to. Certainly I do. Maureen was born in Aruba, but emigrated to the Milwaukee area with her family when she was 11. Her parents were determined that she and her two sisters would get the benefit of a higher education, which she began at a small college in northwestern Wisconsin. She was the first black student there, and she said it was rough, uh, you know, even finding somebody to be your roommate. Maureen began her broadcasting career at WGBH in Boston in 1970. She went on to report at WCBS-TV in New York. And in 1973, she came to D.C. to anchor at Channel 9 for 22 years before joining ABC 7 in 1999. Greg is speaking publicly. In addition to our time together, Maureen would co-anchor with Max Robinson, Pat McGrath, Warner Wolf, Kathleen Matthews, and Gordon Peterson. You get together for a half hour, five nights a week, have a great time and go home. It's a terrific marriage. <laughs> it doesn't cost you a nickel. In fact, they pay you to do it. Maureen earned a master's degree in education from Harvard and became a mentor to rising broadcast journalists like our own Jumi Olabanji. It definitely gave me somebody uh, to look up to, and so it's awesome that I'm here with her. Um, I, I just, I can't even believe it almost, if that makes sense. Through it all, Maureen has been a tireless volunteer, helping others throughout the D.C. region. She's a great model for young people in, in the District of Columbia. And I always thought she was a class act, and uh, I still do. Yeah, as you can see, she could have taught Hillary something about the hairstyles through the years as well. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> a lot of it's gone, unfortunately. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leon. Well, I will tell you, I, you. I, I want to confirm what Sam had to say. I checked my, my thesaurus, and in it, the definition of class act was your picture. Oh, you're so sweet. No question about so that. so sweet. Good. We'll, Gordo, be there. we'll all be there tomorrow night. Gordo, it's been, a, it's been a great marriage. May it long, long thrive. <laughs> Congratulations, man. And the other, the, this is, this is a, a multiple marriage. It's Leon. I am so lucky. I am Leon, Gordon, and Doug. 30 years what for us. What other woman can claim yeah, that? Yeah. Pretty cool. It's the, fabulous. The guy's in the locker room. Yeah, She's put up right. with it for a lot of years, I'll tell you. Essentially, yes. <laughs> Very patient. I've helped them clean up their acts a few times. Yeah. So. Congratulations, <laughs> Gordon. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That's great, Bob. What an honor. Well-deserved. Well,